Hello everybody, this is a quick tutorial to help you learn a little bit more about how to mark up a PDF on an iPad. This would be a great activity for students to be able to do and then submit to you through Teams. So the first thing you want to do is go out to the internet and find a PDF that would be most beneficial for you in your classroom. Once you find the picture that you'd like, PDF that you would like to use in your class, then make sure that you have that saved to your iPad. When it saves to your iPad, you can go ahead and then open it up and you'll see up in the right hand corner, there's two buttons. One is a circle with a pen, the other one a square with an arrow. So we'll spend a little bit of time in the markup section first to kind of go over what's available to you. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And when you do that, you can see a bar shows up at the bottom and it has several different pens, pencils, erasers, and a ruler that you can use along with some other activities and things that you can do with students in this section. So the first thing you wanna do is decide which pen you'd like to use. Once you decide on the pen, if you hold that down, you will see that it does allow you to change the width of the stroke, depending on what you want, as well as how opaque you would like the particular pen to draw. So I'm going to leave it pretty much where it is, and then I'm going to go ahead and directly annotate over the top of this picture. And if you are comfortable with the way it looks, you can go ahead and move on to the next section. If you want to change the color, you can do that. Also, you'll see a plus and three dots down at the bottom. The plus will allow you to add a text box, sign the particular picture, or magnify whatever it is that's in the particular PDF that you're looking for. You can also add different shapes there as well as arrows within the annotation on the PDF. When you're finished and happy with the way it looks and you want to be able to send it to another place, particularly to Teams, you'll go back up to the top in that square with the arrow and you'll click on it. And you can see one of my choices up at the top here is Teams. I can actually send it directly to a class and be able to turn that in for credit. So this is a little bit more about how to annotate or mark up a PDF on your iPad.